my spare key for emergency. It was an emergency. I was at my place, women's volleyball was on, and I remembered you had eye deaf. <laughs> Let me run something by you. I was at the restaurant tonight and I met this woman. Nice eyes, good laugh. She's telling me about her cat's ear infection. So I tell her, that reminds me of the story I read about this tiger that can paint with his tail. <laughs> oh, I read that story. <laughs> Doug? He's taking a bath. Why? Because I had a hard day, so I'm doing something for me. <laughs> yeah, but why here? Because it's freaking soothing, that's why. <laughs> so the tiger paints with its tail? Yeah, it's not the point of my story. She it, said I was a bad listener. Does it dip its tail in the paint? No, they stick a brush on it with duct tape. I don't understand women. You know, they want us to be interesting and charming, but they also want us to just, just sit there and listen. Can't be done. So, does it paint pictures of other tigers? This story is about me and my two friends. We need help with women. So we hired a very beautiful life coach. She's gonna teach us, well, everything. hundreds of women clients and they've all had the same complaint about men. That we don't listen? Well, actually, their first complaint is, where are all these straight, single men in this city? <laughs> but after that, it is the listening thing. Women say listen, but what they mean is memorize and retain for years. <laughs> Be that as it may. Today, we're going to work on something called active listening. Because when a woman feels she's truly being heard, she feels a deeper connection. So, imagine you're with a woman. Just one? <laughs> Kyle, do you want an additional assignment? No, ma'am. So this woman is talking to you about something very important to her. I want you to clear your minds. Don't think of something clever to say. And if she has a problem, don't try to fix it. Now, and at appropriate moments, I want you to lean forward, look her in the eyes, and encourage her with words like, yes, Go on. I see. Uh-huh. Now, say that with me. Yes. 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 Go, Go on. 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 I, I see. see. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. 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 Go, Go on. on. I see. Uh-huh. So the guy was all, you can't come into this club. And I was all, I think I'm on the list. And he was all, I don't see your name. And I was all, well, what about my friend Dominique, who looks like a supermodel? Supermodel? Yeah, my friend Dominique. I mean, she's not really a model. Her breasts are way too big. <laughs> yes. Go on. I see. Well, she owns this sports bar called the Cub Shack. Guys never hit on her because they assume she's taken. But she's so lonely. Anyway, enough about her. No, 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 Maggie. I love hearing about your friend. But most nights, she just goes home and watches movies. Romantic comedies, westerns? I'm not sure. Think. <laughs> What's the big deal? You have some guy in mind for her? I believe I might. Pour me a towel on, barkeep. What's going on? Mm, not the greatest week. Oh. Uh, I mean, I see. Uh, tell me about it. I want to listen. Well, I'm worried about money. I mean, I'm up to my ears in loans from law school, and I can barely make my rent. Now my car's in the shop. It's going to cost $1,000 to fix. Whoa. Do you need some money? Nah, just want to vent. Well, come on. You're my sister. Let me give you the money. Did you hear me? I just want you to listen. Well, what's the point of that? It makes me feel better. How is that possible? Your car is still broken. That's not the point. But it should be the point. Talking doesn't fix things. Take the moon landing. It's not like the guys at NASA said, uh, oh boy, that moon's far away. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Thanks, I feel better. <laughs>
Uh, do you have a minute? Well, I was just heading out to the gym. This doesn't just happen. Oh, I know. We all talk about it. But not in a, in a dirty way. I mean, I don't. Doc, did you need something? I've been actively listening to my ex-wife. Oh, so Ali's speaking to you again? I wish. You know, I'm talking about phone messages. And I think that I've had a breakthrough. I want you to hear something. I got your message. Again. Doug, I can't keep doing this back and forth over the phone. It's torture. <laughs> you hearing what I'm hearing? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Let me just break this down for you. On surface, her words sound negative. But by actively listening, what you actually hear is, Hey, Doug, it's Allie. Talking to you on the phone is torture because it's impersonal. Let's get together. And you're getting all of this from one phone message. Oh, no. That would be crazy. You want to start doing sit-ups, I'll get these queued up. Pal out, please. Four bucks, Fonzie. Oh, you guess my name. How about a free beer if I can guess yours? <laughs> There's no way you're gonna guess my name. All right, let's see. Beautiful, uh, willowy. Let's not overthink this. Caitlin. Uh, sorry, Paul. Damn it. Should've gone with my first thought, Dominique. <laughs> Wait a minute. Dominique? That's my name. Dominique. Oh, you're kidding me. Come on, somebody told you. If you say so. Uh-huh. Well, uh, get spears on me then. I can't do that. You know, we never said I get two guesses. But I tell you what you could do. You see if there's a good Western on, it's my favorite film genre. No way! It's my favorite film genre too. Get out of here. I mean, don't tell me your favorite one is... Rio, Rio Bravo? Bravo? <laughs> Get out of my head, young lady. Hey, Mr. Clark, can I talk to you for a minute? Mm. I'm taking a lot of grief for thinking I still got a shot with my ex-wife. You're the man. <laughs> I still love her, and I got this feeling that she still loves me. Atta boy. <laughs> so it's not just me. You've seen it? What it is. Oh, well, I knew I was right. Thank you. Yeah, I feel so much better. Look out now. <laughs> hey, guys. Guess what I just did. There you go. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hey. Where'd the lunch crowd go? <laughs> I love active listening. Brings the art of deception to a whole new level. <laughs> okay, check it out. Molly told me she was having money troubles. So I went to her bank and I deposited $937.51. Why the seemingly random amount, you ask? So she'll think it was a bank error. <laughs> It's brilliant. Why don't you want her to know it was you? Yeah, Tim, it makes no sense. <laughs> because she told me explicitly not to give her any money. And if she finds out, she'll just get mad. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> I know, but it's just how women are. No, you. You're stupid. <laughs> Tim, women don't like us to fix things for them. Also, they don't like rain. It frizzes up their hair. <laughs> That problem is not specific to women. Okay, so you did not put $937.51 into my checking account? <laughs> 900 and what? <laughs> what kind of number is that? It's so random. <laughs> no, little sister, what you have here is a bank error. <laughs> okay, Tim, last chance. Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't do this. 
I didn't do this. Okay. There. Money's gone. What? Money's what? Well, I can't keep it. That'd be like stealing. So I just gave it to charity. You, you gave it to what now? <laughs> The power to women center? <laughs> she gave her money to a bunch of bra burners? It's not funny. <laughs> I'm laughing at something. I mean, we're talking about $937.51. That's most of the money in my savings account. Maybe the feminists will make you an honorary woman. Hey, Dad. Oh. Tim, can I talk to you? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I need help. It's my car again. Now green smoke is coming out of the glove compartment. Can I borrow that money? <laughs> but I, uh, I, I thought I wasn't supposed to help fix your problems. Well, uh, unless I ask. And I'm asking. You know what? It's a bad idea. Uh, brothers lending sisters money. Uh, there's resentment, then tears. And the next thing you know, we're both just a couple of old alcoholics. Well, I hope my car doesn't break down in a bad neighborhood. Yeah, I'd fine. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Tim. You're my hero. Mm -hmm. Maybe while my car's in the shop, Dad will lend me his Mustang. <laughs> Sweetie, okay? All right, bye. Poor thing. Oh. This friend of mine, Maggie, she's heartbroken. She went out with this guy that she really liked. Apparently, he was a fantastic listener. Really? She said that? Yeah. And then he just doesn't call. And I mean, she really liked this guy. She said that on their next date, she was going to give herself to him. Sexually. <laughs> she was. And he missed those signals. Idiot. <laughs> anyway, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. Hello. But first, let us pray. Let us what? Dear Lord, please bless this meal and give us the strength to resist temptation, especially temptation of the flesh, so that Kyle and I might get to know each other on a, a higher, more spiritual level. Amen. <laughs> Why'd you need to see me alone? Am I more messed up than the other two? Because Kyle's into some really freaky stuff that you don't even know about. I don't doubt that. Doug, I asked you to come here because there's someone in my office you need to see. Oh, did you hire an assistant coach? No. No, I want you to hear what this person is actually saying, not what you want to hear. Allie. Hello, Doug. Yes, of course I'll oh, come back. Dear. <laughs> Doug, just miss. Doug, you know I've been seeing Hector for a long time now. Yeah, I know that, but relationships end. Just look at ours. <laughs> Hector and I are engaged. Have, have you set a date? No. I smell cold feet. <laughs> You're gonna go down swinging, aren't you? Okay. Bring out the big guns. Man, you really let yourself go. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. Thanks for going out with me again and for being so understanding. That's okay. How is your mother? <laughs> Looks like the liver's gonna take. <laughs> She's a brave bird. You know, but enough about her. The important thing is, 
Because here we are, ready to pick up where we left off. That's very tempting. Do you mind if I invite a friend? Right away. <laughs> Hello, Kyle. <laughs> Let us pray. <laughs> Is she pregnant? Yep. So you slept with him? <laughs> That's how it works. Are you okay, Doug? Would you like another nip of gin? <laughs> All those lawyers were right. Our marriage is really over. <laughs> Doug, you are a wonderful, sweet man. And you're gonna make an incredible husband and father with some other woman. Do you know who? <laughs> I think that's what she's here for. Right. <laughs> You're gonna be okay. Goodbye, Doug. Talk to me. Well, I feel awful. <laughs> well, this awful will end, I promise. The important thing now is to watch that you don't go sliding into some... Kiss me. ...rebound relationship. <laughs> What's the plan? No plan. Just gonna be myself, explain the mix-up, and get my money back. Bad idea. You have to put yourself in the mind of a feminist. Now, what do these people want? Equal rights? Yeah. <laughs> they want to be told they're pretty. This is what lies underneath all the anger. I think there's more to it than that. Fine. Try it your way. And if you need me, cough twice. <coughs> Howard Women's Center. Self-defense classes at four. Yes, you get to kick a live man. Yes, he's wearing padding, but it's still fun. <laughs> May I help you? Hi. Yeah, uh, I believe you received a donation yesterday from one of your volunteers. Great. That uh, money was from my sister. Yeah, but it was actually mine. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yeah, I need it back. Of course. Is there anything else here that's yours? The fax machine, maybe the phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. No, no, really, I, I need it back. I'm sorry, but once the checks go in this drawer, they belong to us. Boy, you look pretty. Pardon? Did you just wink at me? I don't know. Did, did you like it? I think we're done here. Huh. Oh, good, Herman, it fits. Okay, well, the uh, class is in the empowerment room. <laughs> okay. You did put on three pair of shorts, right? No dice. She said once the checks go in that drawer, it's over. The checks are in that drawer? <sighs> yeah. Well, go get it. What? <laughs> I can't do that. It's stealing. Would you step up to the plate for once in your life? Man up! <laughs> You're the son of a Chicago bear. You're right. It's for Molly. I'll do it. I got your back. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. It's the Women's Center. Hello? Are you robbing us? No. <coughs> <coughs> Dad? donation back. Yeah, I struck a deal with the feminists. <laughs> I can meet women this way, right? Wish I had one of those around my heart. <laughs> How you holding up, buddy? Allie's really going. I don't wind up 60 sexy and single. I just hope I make it to 60. 
<laughs> Too many of these girls know the typo. Oh. <laughs> well, can we just turn on the game, forget today happened? Or we could just talk. Talk? I mean, Doug can talk, we'll listen. Maybe we'll get something out of this dumb listening thing. I have no idea what to talk about. What about Allie? God, she looked pretty. You know how sometimes pregnant women glow? She glowed like a porch light on a warm summer's night. Only without all your bugs.